This is ABTV, Animal Bites Television. For animal lovers, by animal lovers. Hey, I'm Primitive Tim, and today's episode is going to be all about island lizards. The species we're looking at today is Anolis sagrae, the brown anole. Now this is just one of many species of anole distributed throughout the New World. Today, we're exploring the existence of a small population on a spoil island in the Indian River Lagoon. This island was formed when the intracoastal waterway was built. When this waterway was dug out deeper for larger boat passage, the excess sand was piled in clumps along the waterway and formed the island that we have today. This island is absolutely covered in lizards. Now the type of lizard we're seeing today is the brown anole, and this is actually an invasive from the Caribbean. It lives on many Caribbean islands. And so we have them here in central Florida, living on this tiny, remote, and uh, desolate island. And the way they got to Florida was in the plant trade. So when people brought in a lot of these tropical plants from the Caribbean, these guys came with them. For these little guys to be able to adapt to such a different place, it uh, really says a whole lot about how this lizard can survive. He's a survivor. This guy right here is a survivor. So that's really cool. Good job, little guy. I'm gonna let him go. Now the male anoles can get pretty animated when they interact with each other. And it's especially the males because they're territorial and they're always looking to mate with a female. And they do whatever they can to keep males out of their territory and females in their territory. Now when males try to threaten each other, they do push-ups and they show their dewlap. That's the red thing. Now right here we have a nice sized male. So I'm going to see if I can scare him off by doing some push-ups. Oh yeah, get out of here lizard. This is my territory. I don't have a dewlap. I'm a little disappointed about that. Males will not allow each other into their own territories. I think I won though. I think I scared him off. So that just goes to prove I'm a tougher lizard than that guy. Now the way courtship occurs with brown anoles is the male is basically just trying to impress the female. And he'll do that by doing those push-ups and displaying his red dewlap. And so if the female is impressed, she'll come over and allow him to um, basically wrestle her down and begin to copulate with her, which that's basically just when they start mating. So they'll lay there mating for a while and then um, he'll release the female and she'll usually run off. It's really funny how, how all that works and how the female has to be willing. And so it's kind of cool how she has that choice whether to, uh, to, let, to let that male reproduce with her. Because of course, she wants the very strongest and fittest male to reproduce with her. Now when I get on this island and I see all these lizards, a few questions pop into mind. A, how did they even get here? And B, how did they even survive on such a small island? Now as far as getting here, I've got three hypotheses that could possibly explain. First one though, which I don't think is too likely, is they swam here. They are capable of swimming, being a cold-blooded animal. They don't have that kind of stamina to be able to swim all the way out here. So I think that's a little bit unlikely, but then again, they do float. One could have just drifted out here. Also, they could have drifted here on natural rafts. So like a branch or a palm frond that fell in the water and they were hanging onto it while it fell. They could, uh, they could easily fall in the water with it and they'd hang onto that branch for the dear life and uh, then they could drift on all the way out here. Another hypothesis, which I think is most likely, is they came out here on man-made vessels. People come out here all the time and this lizard in particular lives all around houses. It lives in neighborhoods, it lives, and it gets into everything. And so they could have easily gotten into some camping gear that was in the garage and uh, they got thrown onto the boat and uh, they got brought out here and so when they unpacked their camping gear on the island these people would have ended up bringing these lizards here and the lizards would have scampered off to the closest tree. Now how do they survive? Now this is like this is a tiny island so first we need to look at their needs. What do these lizards absolutely need to survive? Now of course they need food. Now these guys are insectivores and um, every so often they may eat some really small lizards and uh, in some cases may even be cannibalistic. So they've got, they've got food sources here. 
But how do we know there's food sources? Why do bugs come to this island? And so um, there's actually quite a variety of plants on the island. So a lot of these have flowers. Now with these flowers, they're gonna attract pollinating insects. So butterflies, bees, and uh, there's a whole host of uh, insects that will pollinate these flowers. This is gonna be the lizard's primary source of food is those pollinating insects. Every so often they may eat a baby lizard, but um, that's not gonna to happen too often. Also, there's um, a lot of ground dwelling things like roaches and stuff, um, roly polies, things like that also live out here. And so it's not too surprising that they have enough food supply. Now, why are there so many? Like they're everywhere. You just walk through the bushes and they, they scamper left and right. Well, there's no predators. We don't have any snakes, not a whole lot of birds. Those would be their main predators. Those just don't exist out here. What about water? Now that's an interesting one, but they'll be getting some of the fluid out of their insect prey, but also dew will fall on this island and all they need is just a drop to last them all day. We're in central Florida and it does freeze here, but being surrounded by water like this is gonna keep the, the air temperature on the island a little bit higher than it would further inland. And so they have climate control, food, water, shelter. I mean, they've got it all here. Well, thanks for joining me on this episode where we got to check out some uh, really cool island lizards and um man they're just they're like little dinosaurs they really are and so until next time find a new way to appreciate some really cool nature this is an american alligator we cut oh! my first capture of an alligator and these guys have 80 these guys have 80 this is really abtv so